my name is Thunder THR, and welcome to a very special playthrough for the channel. Now, of course, if you saw my last playthrough, you will know that I did a one-make racing game in Ford Racing 2. And today, we're going to do a playthrough of another one-make racing game, but one that was never released to customers. This is Lamborghini, developed by Rage Software, that was originally slated for an early 2003 release date, but never got released largely due to Rage Software going out of business just before the game was ready. And by ready, I mean, I'm pretty sure from what I understand from this build, this game was pretty much close to completion. The way this build exists is that this was meant for X, uh, this was built as an Xbox Live test disc, uh, which was only meant for dev kit Xboxes. And for the longest time, this build wasn't made accessible online to, to most people like you and I, until about a few months ago when someone finally decided to change that. And in also doing so, they also put a, a patched executable so that you don't need a dev kit Xbox to run this game. It'll run on retail Xboxes, which is really nice. So yeah, this is a, a very interesting game in just that there's not much about this because, the, of course, the game was never released, so not a lot of people have played this. And I thought, since, it, since there's now a build accessible, I thought let's actually do a playthrough of it to show people, to give people an idea of exactly what this game was like. And even, even for me, this is really much going to be a first-time playthrough. I've never really played through this game before because, of course, this game has only been out for... This game has not been out for very long, at least this particular build. So we've got a whole bunch of different things here. We've got arcade, championship, multiplayer, replays, test drive, save, options, sign in, and credits. And I'm just gonna have a quick look over the controls. Oh, we oh we we get oh cool. We got a thing for steering sensitivity. I'll put the, I'll leave that up at the max for now, and then if it's too much, I will fix that. I will bring that down. Okay, so the I have act, this is actually my uh, my second attempt at trying to record this because the first one I kept accidentally resetting the car, not realizing me because I was I didn't pay attention to what button it was mapped to. It's the black button. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna make that mistake again. Okay, everything else should be good. So let's go ahead and jump into the championship mode because that's where, uh, of course, I imagine the meat of the game is gonna be. That this is actually split off into multiple series, and I imagine how this is gonna work is we go from one to the next. So we got the V8 Super Series first, then we got V12 Vintage, Mira Classic League, Kuntash Challenge, Diablo Ultimates League, Murchilago Power League, and then finally Lamborghini Open Challenge. So we're going from left to right, starting with, of course, the V8 Super Series. And very kindly, they did leave us a vehicle to, to use, which is the Yalpa. Now there's a whole bunch of things here. So let, let me give you the quick rundown. So series info gives you basically tells you these are the tr right these are the tracks you're going to be doing in the series. This is the league in terms of uh, all the people with it and and even their amount of cash. Of course, some of them get more than you do to start with, which is very annoying. But I won't uh, I won't knock them down too much for that. You got a garage where you can take a look at all your vehicles. Of course, we only have the one so far, which is the Yalpa. We could we can use the right the left stick to move the cam around. You could use the triggers to zoom in and out. Uh, you can you can bring up the stats of the car with the X button, and if you go into the workshop with the Y button, you can basically repair your car if it's got damage. You could sell it, or you could respray it if you want a different color, which I of course do. I'm going to paint it this nice dark metallic blue. It does cost me a little bit of money to do so, but that's okay. There's also a thing for trophies, which of course you you get by you know winning stuff, and because we haven't won anything yet, there's nothing to show there, so I'll leave that for later. There is a place where you could buy and test drive vehicles. These are, of course, the, you got all the different vehicles here. Basically, it's uh you got we got in this league we got two different Yalpas, two silhouettes. And t and three Yurakos. We got a P two of these uh, P three hundreds here, and then a Yurako Rally, which is sixty six thousand dollars. That's a its value is pretty substantial. But we'll get to that. But you know, maybe we'll get to that eventually. Asset list. I guess just tells you about all the stuff you have, maybe. And then Car Challenge, which I'm going to guess this is very much like what would eventually be seen in the likes of Juice. And there's a reason 
for, uh, for in the ter- mentioning it in the likes of Juice, Rage Software, uh, after they went out of business, much of the team actually went to form Juice Games, which of course would make Juiced. And Juice, ironically, was also a game that almost never got released because of their publishers going bankrupt. But thankfully, it got picked up by THQ, which allowed the game to be released. So they didn't have two racing games, which ultimately suffered the same fate. It's just, unfortunately, Lamborghini was, was not released at any point. So, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and race. So we're split into heats, and it looks like the these the the, the drivers listed down below on my heat are who I've got. I've also got another heat of people, which I guess they'll intertwine, but we'll see. So, race options: we got practice, we can qualify, but we can actually do the race. We can abandon the round, or we can just quit the championship. Let's do a qualifying session. Let's see how let's see how we get on. It'll give us it, doing this will probably give us a good idea of you know just of exactly uh, exactly the sort of challenge we might potentially be getting ourselves into, but we will see. This is not a sequel of an unreleased sequel, the N64 version. That I put I've listed that because that's the closest thing I can do to listing this game on on Twitch right now because this game does not have its own category, obviously. So that's just the next best thing I can do. And wow, nearly six seconds in first place. So if that's anything to go by, we should be able to have a pretty good time here, but we shall see. Of course, we got our. I, like, I do like how uh, in this camera view we do get like a more. We get like some more nice looking speedometers and stuff. Back button is Y. I encourage to get. I just gotta remember. Don't hit the black button like an idiot, like you did in that in that uh for in that first attempt. That's uh. You've uh, put it the bin, and yeah, this this is already pretty interesting. We've I was able to crush them in the qualifying, but now we got one person here who's uh, apparently somehow way faster. Excuse me, what are you doing? It probably does. Do you mind? So this is already really interesting. I was able to crush them, like absolutely spank them on when it came to the qualifying, but in the actual race, they're suddenly a lot faster. Cause that makes sense, right? It's actually, I actually think that's really annoying of the game to be doing that. Why give you, why have it make it seem like you, have all that time and then you actually get to this and it's like oops sorry i was actually really annoying by that so yeah i guess we're not gonna win that race because apparently they suddenly learned how to get good so whatever so whatever it's fine so we got our either our stats we, we got our distance our maximum speed average speed time full throttle time braking time and the usage of handbrake no i would not like to view the replay right now and at least, despite what happened, I guess that, yeah, uh, there's a final and we qualified for it. And uh, we actually did have the second fastest time. So if I was in the second heat, I would have won. I'm just still annoyed by the fact that it's like I had such a good qualifying time. And then when it comes to the actual race, they suddenly become like really, really good. Like what ba what sort of balancing is that? Yeah, it's also an unfinished game, so that's also true. But it, but that just stuck out to me like a sore. But I couldn't help but feel that stuck out to me like a sore thumb. What I'm actually trying to see what if I could do is like see if I could like mostly keep a slipstream, which I don't know if there really is one or not in this in this game or or what not. I'm sure you could you could tell I'm pushing. Just 
just try to do what I can to like just oh. sit on the end. Oh, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, it's a, a little dirty, but I'm what whatever I can do to kind of get myself in front. The kind of thing you'd see get. Yeah, I mean that's it's possible. I I wouldn't I wouldn't put it I would not put it against them if that was if that was to be the case. It's also to be fair. I, it, it's also potent as I showed in that dealership. There's like different. There was different uh, second trims and stuff. So it's very possible they might have a faster Yalpa, which might explain the speed. I'm guessing. But hey, we actually managed to win. So where it actually counts, the final, we actually got the we actually got the W. So I can, I'll take that. That's so that, which means I get the 12 grand. Leonard can settle with 10,000 and Papa Cap gets eight grand, gets eight grand. And apparently I can issue challenges. These people all have faces and they're, and a lot of them are very frightening. So what am I supposed? So who do I issue a challenge to? They have all these people I could choose. All right, Owen Simon. How about you? Hi there, I'm Owen Simon. That sounds great. My manager has agreed to put up this much. Oh. Oh, this is the betting system that's also induced. I'll see you on the track. I I, I I've started to think this game has a lot of what has a lot of the DNA that would eventually go into Juiced. Except, ex, except instead of being like a tuner sort of game, it's a... Uh, it's about Lamborghini, all Lamborghinis and such. On like... At, on, d d d this just feels weird. It's like I found it. It's like an alternate... Dim it's like an alternate dimension Juiced. I'm not gonna lie, this aspect does feel like it was also taken of past Lamborghini games, specifically the SNES one. I mean, that's very possible too. It maybe, maybe, th maybe that was like an inspiration thing for them. So yeah, I, I could have gone with the person uh, who I edged out for the win, but I thought let's let's start with let's try someone else, and then I'll uh, worry about the others later. But it's interesting. You get like 15 different people you can challenge, basically. That's notably more than juiced. Challenge complete. We beat him. That was unfair. I wasn't given time to prepare. You can rhyme all you want, but I won. So yeah, okay. So uh, we got twenty-six thousand three hundred fifty now. Now, I do believe I probably took a little bit of damage from that first race, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, fix this up. Oh, good, it wasn't wasn't that much. Only about one hundred and forty-two dollars. In fact, actually, because I mentioned I showed it before, there was like two different uh, Yalpas here. This is probably the obviously the one I probably got. This one next to me has slightly more value. Hmm, maybe not. I could just, I can just, if I want to, go to the silhouette. So that appears to have a slightly slower zero to sixty. I think the the Yoraka would probably be the most interesting stuff, but I think the best thing to do would be to hold, would be to uh, would probably be to hold off. Yeah, because obviously we can't, obviously we can't buy that because we're well without or out of range so let's go ahead and take a look at the car challenges and so we got overtake eliminator and perfect lap so the first one here is on black forest we got a hundred seconds to overtake what appears to be five five yeah. cars all right well at least this time i i i have a bit i have a better understanding of the track so Actually, 
actually, you know what I think it is? I think this card, I think it's the way this card breaks. I think it actually breaks like it has no anti, it doesn't have anti-lock breaks. Because I noticed like when I was trying to, I think when I was trying to break the steer in, it was, I wasn't getting as much turn in. So I think, I think it's probably got, it probably does not have anti-lock breaks. So I think I was just locking up. Nearly went off there again, but thankfully managed to mostly keep it on the track this time. It was just a little bit off. It was just a little bit wide. Okay, so now we just got one more to one more. I think the easiest way to do this is to is to break, then just either let off the throttle completely or or handbrake it. Whoops. Oh, okay, so it just takes a moment, but then it recognizes that you pass them all. There we go. That's that's one of those down. And yes, you do get prize money for that, so... Cool. So I think what I'll do is... Uh, I'll, sp I'll, sp I'll stop the part here. Uh, in the next part, I will go do the next race in the series, and then I will do the next car challenge. So I think that's how I'm going to split it up just to kind of, you know, balance it out a bit. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to check out my other links if you haven't already. Check out my Twitch if you want to see these playthroughs as they happen live. But I hope to see you all in the next video.